Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another reaction video. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to react to Rich, Richie, <laughs> Ricky Gervais' Golden Globes monologue uh, where he apparently roasted half of Hollywood. And I kind of like this because, um, yeah, I think we all like it because Hollywood's sometimes a bit Hollywoody, if you know what I mean. If you're new to this channel, <laughs> hi, I'm just joking. Uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to my reaction channel, Bev's World it's called, and uh, you're very welcome, and join the community, join the family. I mean, why not? Um, let's laugh together, have fun, send a comment, I'll reply, I promise, and yeah, let's enjoy and watch this. How crazy is this? I mean, it's been going viral, right? <sighs> Is it really, or is it actually normal, but since we're in such a, like, a PR world right now, that it's like, oh my gosh, he just said that. All right, let's watch. Welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hills. Oh my goodness! No, I'm just joking. Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais, thank you. You'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking, I never did. Let's go with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense. Yes. Shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. Yeah, okay. We're all going to die soon, and there's no sequel. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Shush. Yeah. It's her, it's her daughter I feel sorry for, okay? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. Yeah, Netflix this and show sure. should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching. I don't feel like he's roasting anybody. Like, yeah, that girl that was within the friggin' administration scandal, but pff, that's not funny. In this show. Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> I take back what I just said. Dang. Jeffrey Epstein, like, Jeffrey Epstein's, like, circle of friends are, like, the elite and pretty much the people that are sitting right in front of him. Shut up. I know he's your friend. Yep. I don't care. <laughs> I, don't care. I don't care. Gervais spoke about movies that he had. He said highlighted pedophile movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly. Yep. Leaving Neverland. Yep. Two popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. He's, <laughs> he's the actor. He's the actor. <laughs> That's so awkward. Like he he's kinda like half <laughs> like half smiling. <laughs> right? Because he just has to kinda do it for the camera, right? You don't want to be the one that's like, oh my goodness, in front of like millions of people, right? Care, I don't care. And if you kind of get tilted, you kind of feed into the whole narrative, right? The Irishman was amazing. Long, but amazing. Yeah. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Ah, oh, good sport, good sport. All right, good. He laughed. He laughed. <laughs> Many he does date a lot of younger women. Talented people of color were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So we were gonna do an in. -mem I'm not gonna be that person because I honestly don't really care. But dang, that's a lot of white people. <laughs> this year but when I saw the list of people that had died it wasn't diverse enough it just no Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show a superb drama was he roasting Apple not... uh, yeah is he here a he's here drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So I read that before he said that in the Oh my goodness, he rolls freaking Tim is it Tim Cook? How awkward. 
like I love the fact that he's actually standing up and kind of doing what Dave Chappelle does when he actually you know stands up for his jokes and says what what's on his mind well you say you're woke but the companies you work for i mean unbelievable apple amazon disney if isis started a streaming service you'd call your agent oh if you do win they an would award directly. tonight pl don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech please like, don't you're in no position to lecture the public about anything you know nothing thank about the real you world. most of you spent less time in school than greta thunberg so if you win right Come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and so thank you, Gervais. It's all Man, it's awkward. <laughs> he was like, dying. It's awkward. Thank you guys for watching this video. I didn't think it was too bad. He could have he could have done a little bit more, honestly. Thank you so much for stopping by watching Bev's World. Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button and join the community. Join the family. Love you. Bye.